Hey everyone, today I would like to show you our newest feature, which will allow you to simply create a WordPress blog or e-commerce shop within just a few clicks. So without further ado, let's get started. First, navigate to mdbgo.com, click on login or sign up for free if you don't have an account yet. Once you have an account, simply provide your login and password. And now click on the WordPress. So this uh, dashboard allows you to create a different kind of projects. So we uh, covered uh, other options like front and back and database. In other videos, now we're gonna focus on the WordPress. So click on the WordPress, uh, select page. So choose what you want to create. You can create either a blog or e-commerce shop, or you can have both together. So I'm gonna show you this one. Um, click go. Now you can choose uh, two options. You can choose either the standard installation or advanced one. In a standard, you will just choose the page name and your email address, and you're going to be given your username and password. Uh, if you want to specify your username, admin username and password by yourself, choose advanced option. Let's provide some name, for example, MDB test 05. Um, username, we're going to use admin, password. Uh, I'm going to type secret.1 because we need to have a special character and the number and then secret.1 um, and email i'm gonna use my email address so this is the admin uh, address now what is really cool uh which we added recently is add dummy content so that's gonna add you some starting content so for all of you who are new to wordpress uh this will help you to understand how wordpress works so uh now let's click go and let's wait a few seconds. You will see uh, the progress over here. So it downloaded files. Now it's extracting them. And let's give them a couple of seconds to finish the installation. OK, so as you can see, um, it took a few seconds and now our page is ready. So you're going to see what you're going to see here is the, your um, WordPress address. So this is our address. This is our admin uh, panel address. So this is uh, how you log in as an administrator. I'm going to open all this in the new tab. And here we have our username and a password. So secret.1, which I just um, set while creating this. So now let's see how our blog looks like. So this is our starting content. Uh, initial page, as you can see, we already have some um post over here created so you can go enter this one um and see how it looks like you can also navigate to shop so i'm going to open this one in the new card so if you want to build a shop you can also do it with uh, just a few clicks you have predefined products over here so you can uh, just play with it right play with the filters categories uh, different listing options uh, just to get more familiar on how does it work and this uh, initial content will help you understand how does it work because if you navigate to admin panel and provide your username which was admin and password secret that one after logging in you're going to see the wordpress administration panel which allows you to adjust or change anything at your page so what you're going to see here oh, let me just close it uh, you can go to WooCommerce, for example, and or to the products, and you're gonna see the list of the products. If you want to work on post, navigate to post. You're gonna see how they are working. So you will see a different uh, post and uh, different categories. Uh, you can edit them. Obviously, we can also work on the appearance of our page. So if you go to appearance, uh, or um, you can change, you can customize it. You can also um, work with uh, widgets and menus. Uh, so let's quickly uh, just have a look at this. Mm, so these are the products I, I mentioned to you before. So you can play with it. You can see how to change the different prices, categories, and so on. These are posts. So how to work with them, how to edit them. Now uh, we will be moving to uh, our customizer and the widgets. So uh, this is a customizer. So it's visual uh, tool, which allows you to um, change um, uh, the, the, the appearance of the page at uh, at glance so uh, we can we can change uh, for example at the home page if you want to change this castaway my traveling blog you simply um, change it here and this will be reflected on the spot so you will see how these changes are actually affecting your blog um, so now it has changed. So you can you can you can also change the way it looks like. So uh, home page time, I choose tiles, but you can for example want to have a column. So one column which will list 
um, like this. So uh, I strongly encourage you to play with it. Uh, you can also add some button over here, some call to action, which will show you here. So some call to action or let's say click here and here you spe specify the URL where you want to uh, redirect your users. So let's say like this. Yeah, obviously we need to also click on this show Jumbotron button and here it will basically let us uh, to the uh, to the new page. So uh, let's get back to tiles. Let's publish these changes. You can also change image obviously here. Uh, well, just play with it as you're gonna like it for sure. Um, widgets. So for example, we can add the post site, but we can add some widgets with, let's say, listing our categories. So I'm gonna add this one and I'm gonna update our page. And the same applies for menu. Uh, so in the menu, you can you can decide which uh, links are gonna be visible over here. So now we have a home tips, places, and shop. Uh, but obviously, you can uh, you can adjust it. You can choose your own uh, categories. So uh, let's have a look how it looks now. Uh, so after refreshing, we added this uh, sidebar over here. So we can fill this uh, part with uh, with the content. Mm, yeah. Here you can see the admin uh, admin bar. This is something which other users won't be seeing, so uh, don't worry. That's uh, if you open this web in the incognito page, you should be able to see how your user is gonna be watching this, right? So now it looks every perfectly fine. And uh, let's get back to home page and let's see how. This looks like so this is the, the the link the button which we couldn't click before but now it's working fine so it's redirecting and the same applies for the menus so uh, i hope you you're gonna like it i hope you're gonna enjoy it uh, i also want to mention that obviously you can add uh, and change your um your url so you, if you have your own domain you can change it to something like uh, mydomain.com or you can use the free domain from mdbgo.com uh, cool. So uh, yeah, I strongly encourage you to play with it and let us know what do you think about our new feature.